Hi, so you wanted to know how to set up IP camera without the NVR. And that's our IP camera. As you can see, that's a, a network connector, network socket in the camera. Uh, it's an IC real time camera. Uh, beside the uh, network cable, camera has also a uh, power cable for 12 volt DC. But to connect camera to the computer without NVR, you need to power up camera. And there are three ways to do that. One way is to have a small power supply and connect camera power directly to the camera. Second way is to connect camera to the PoE injector. So we have a camera. That's a PoE injector, as you can see. We connect camera to the PoE socket on the PoE injector. And then from there, we connect cable to the LAN socket. And now the side of that cable will go to your home network. And that's, that's the second way. The third way is to use the small PoE switch, and that's the way I would I will go. So I will have one end of the cable connected to the camera. On the other side, you can see my PoE switch. You can see the light is on, and. I will connect camera to the switch and you will see straight away that camera has a PoE power already. It's not talking yet, it seems to be talking but it's not because PoE is not connected to the home network. Now I will have another cable and this cable, the end of this cable, this end will go to the uh, my home uh, router which I'll be doing in a second and the next part of the video will be on my computer screen so you will know what next to do. Thank you. In this second part of the video I will show you how to finish uh, installation of the IP camera without NVR. So to do that you need to you need a config tool now I'll explain what it is quickly. Different producers of IP cameras have their own tool. So this for instance is an IP config tool for cameras from IC real time. And the, the camera which I have was connecting to the, and, I, and I have connected to my network is IC real time camera. This camera comes with the default password and default IP address. So for this to work on your computer, you must change that IP address to the IP address of your network. And to find out your IP address of your network, you do CMD, it's a command prompt, CMD, yeah. You start the app and you quickly type uh, IP config. No, you don't have to be quickly, just type. And uh, here you see the the range of your IP address, which is mine, but that's that's the IP address. So 192.168.192 and then whatever else uh, we can use. So as you can see this camera has a default address which is 192.168.1. So instead of 1 we want to have 192. So to do that, we have to initialize initialize camera or modify IP. So we could go for either static or dynamic. Dynamic is uh, your your home router will assign the IP address for you. So let's see what happens. And we have to refresh. 
Ah, nothing happened. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. We have to first. We have to uh, first. We have to uh, initialize camera. So some of the cameras will uh, require to be initialized. So let's do that. And this is the only blah 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 initialize. And it will ask you to create a password for it. So I use some password we don't do that oh, you could but doesn't really matter next we don't want any of them and camera is initialized so once the once it is initialized we want to modify IP address for the camera. One nine two, and we go. Let's say for fifty three. And uh, subnet uh, mask is two five five, two five five, two five five zero, and the gateway is one nine two one six eight one nine two one. And uh, yeah, and that's the thing. It doesn't want to do that because uh, you have to. use the not default password which i just put in so we so start again so i type the password which i did use with the camera yeah and now we should be able to modify it password please uh, sorry so select the camera so it's still the default ip now it will accept that IP address. We do OK. See the green tick on this. And now if you refresh, this camera will come back with completely different IP address. And that way we have this uh, camera set for our home network. So it will be your, your home network will have obviously different uh, IP range. Uh, but that's the procedure which you have to follow. So I close that and I can open Google Chrome and just type that address 192.168.192.53 and that's the login screen of your camera. You type your login password which you created for that camera and you are inside the camera um, sometimes you may have to change the settings depending on your computer and other settings uh, our substream is already connected uh, as for the mainstream I have to have probably change slightly my IP my settings because for some reasons that computer doesn't like uh, mainstreams which would be too high so i will click will go and go to video and change the smaller and we can go to live stream mainstream now to live view mainstream uh, obviously your network your computer may have different parameters and so on but that way I've set up uh, IP camera connected to the computer without the NVR and you can have it you can watch it you can uh, you can log in you can put it on on your screen um, you can then probably connect it to some other devices uh, maybe some uh, recording software which you install on your computer but this is what initially we wanted to do we have achieved 
Thank you.